In this video, we're looking at my Dell Precision 5680 edit system. One of the things I really like about this computer is the keyboard is backlit. Unfortunately, the default is that if you don't touch the keyboard after 10 seconds, the lights extinguish. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get them to stay on permanently or for longer than 10 seconds. First thing we'll have to do is shut down the computer. Alt F4, shut down. Once the computer is off, you'll hit the power button and then the F2 key and just press it every now and then until you get a message saying that the BIOS screen is loading. Once the screen is loaded, the display gives you an overview of the system, but what we're interested in is the left-hand column where it says keyboard. Select that with your mouse. This takes you to the keyboard display and when you come down to keyboard illumination, you can either disable it, make it dim, make it bright, but if you scroll down, you'll see that you can change the timeout on AC power from 5 seconds, 10, 15, 30, 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, or never. You could also do the same for the battery. In my case, I extended the battery out to 30 seconds, but I left the AC for never, so my keyboard will always remain lit. Once you've made your selections, hit Apply Changes, and then go over to the Exit screen, and the system will reboot. And once you log in, you'll see that your backlit keyboard will stay on for the duration you have chosen. Or in my case, never, so it'll stay on as long as there's AC power. Now for those of you on an older Dell system like this Dell Latitude E6430, your BIOS setup will look a bit different and it could function differently. So what we're gonna look for here is system configuration. We mouse over to that. We go down and it says keyboard illumination. And the options we have are to disable it, set the level of illumination at 25, 50, 75, or 100. You can see that there is no option to change the display time. So we're stuck with the default as defined by the BIOS. Once you've made your changes, just hit exit and the system will reboot. If you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching.